All right. I am Deb, Deb Teach, Deb Teach, and this is a series of offshoot of the Wake Up Shift is Happening TV series. This is a series of conference calls. And there's a reason that we're doing these as conference calls um, as opposed to the TV show. And one of the reasons is uh, because I got the guidance a couple of, well, I'm going to say five days ago at this point. It was about, yeah, it was five days ago to, um, to, come, to, to come back to the U.S. and to do these calls and do the anchoring of this field here on the soil of the United States. So <clears throat> with very little notice and with a guest staying at our house for the week to help with um, the website and the show and everything, um, I, I picked up, packed, and I arrived in Los Angeles this morning. <laughs> so I'm back home. I'm back home in L.A., and it was very unexpected, and I... Um, just want to acknowledge that um, the support that I've had in order for me to be able to do that, um, not only financially, but also even just timing and um, when, you, when you shift trajectories that quickly, because it also came at a time where um, Scott's um, dad had a very serious, um, very serious series of surgeries that were needed immediately last week. And so there's, it's kind of been a whirlwind. So the, um, communication came in, and um, for anyone that knows me well, uh, and I'm sharing this now <laughs> with everyone here, is that I follow through with the guidance that I get. I definitely have been, been living my life in a different way than what most people do for probably the last five or six years. And I do, I do believe that this is a way that many of us are meant to be living and existing where we are able to tune in get very detailed information and to follow through with that guidance in a way that takes us out of personality. I refer to it as um, just personality and logic-based decision-making. So I'm really honored to, to have the people that are here that um, did make their way here, even with the um, error of the PIN code, and honored to have this team of people that I'm going to be introducing to you guys. And the reason that they are here. They keep referring to, to them as the seven. And so what I'd like to do at this time is just have everybody, again, just close your eyes and take a couple of deep breaths and breathe in the celebration of what is occurring on the planet right now and the celebration of where we are in this process and this journey of this global currency reset of the revaluation of currencies which is so much more than just about the currencies and if you saw the newsletter that I um, sent out or any of the information that I sent out this has so much to do with the revaluation of ourselves and aligning with the vibration within ourselves as that heart of gold and recognizing ourselves as the manifestation of that gold vibration and the essence of that gold vibration that is the, the, our self-worth wealth and that we are vibrating that vibration from the purity of our heart. Um, and it has nothing to do with the bank account amount or the portfolio amount or any of the assets that we have accumulated or haven't accumulated. And so that is a big part of this series of calls. That's on the micro. That's on the micro of each of you that the importance of activating and resonating with that vibration of wealth within yourself from the purity of your heart and also the macrocosm of this unified field. And I'm going to be talking more about this unified field. And that is another reason why I got the guidance to come here, to be here in the United States, where there has been such a thumb. Um, actually, what was communicated a couple months ago was the U.S. is under the thumb of the Antichrist. Now, I want to just make a note of that. There's a lot of con different connotations that people 
um, project into hearing the words anti-Christ. And I want to make sure that as I say that, that the connotations, I'm going to be very clear here. What we're talking about is anti-something, anti the energy of Christ consciousness. And so um, the intention here with this unified field is that we have very extraordinarily activated this field very, very powerfully. And that these uh, seven people that I am referencing, that the okay, um, that the seven people that I'm referencing are here as part of the behind the scenes group inner circle that myself and Scott have been working with very diligently, activating and working with almost on a I'm not going to say completely on a daily basis, but almost in a very, very regular basis, weekly um, calls and, you know, different things, a lot of, a lot of active, activating, a lot of up-leveling, and a lot of intention holding for this unified field of this new earth reality. And this global currency reset is absolutely imperative for this new earth reality to engage because of so many of the different aspects of the living life as a um, existing rather than thriving and the enslavement matrix and all of the things that have <clears throat> accumulated an energy where we have a very, very challenging time, as my guides referred to a couple years ago, basically trying to, what, what the muck we're in, it's like basically trying to create our way out of a wet paper bag. And those were the back words that were used actually um, in, in one of the, uh, back in two, December of 2013. And that has made it very challenging because the vibration of creation has had a very difficult time for it, for it to anchor and also for us to um, activate a reality, our individual reality, as well as a collective reality that is expansive and thriving and vibrant, joyful, loving. And so with this unified field, what we are doing is powerfully activating and anchoring the unified field of this new earth reality. And the cool thing, many cool things are occurring. Amazing and cool. I, I, sh I shouldn't even say just cool. Uh, um, profound and amazing things are occurring. I'm a stickler for evidence and confirmation. And I'm going to ask each and every one of you to also start looking for the signs and the confirmations and the evidence in your life as you engage with this unified field of the things that are occurring that you are wanting and desiring and aligned with your heart's desires as we move forward. Now, the seven people that are here are going to change over the next three days of these calls. And um, they're, so we're going to be um, staggering who's, who's here. I'm going to reference, I'm going to actually ask some of them to speak at times, and some of them may never say anything, just depending on what is coming through as I'm um, channeling the information, as we're activating, and um, whatever is, we're going to be very much in the flow. And whatever is in the highest good will be brought forth, and that is the intention that we're setting forth. So these three days of calls are to align with the trinity of I am love, I am light, I am gratitude, and to very firmly proclaim and to anchor this new earth reality with this GCR revealing itself to every person that is intending to be a recipient of revaluation of currencies and for everyone who intends to also utilize this, the project, the, the money for projects for humanity and to bring forth their own soul matrix destiny. And I think that you may 
um, well, you tell me, you think about this. How you, do you feel that your soul matrix destiny has been segued, has been interfered with, has been slowed down or stopped? Or do you not even know or are you not even sure of what your soul matrix destiny is, your life purpose? So I'm going to give a little bit more background information regarding this unified field so that you have visceral um, or, it, or, or even logical aspects of this unified field that you can align with and that you can um, have more. A, the intention is to create a bit more of a bridging of your thought process and what the power of this unified field is intended and now we're having evidence and confirmations about. Uh, now, I just want to do a quick check-in with uh, my seven. And if you guys could Skype me and let me know, um, is sound okay and um, anything else? Is I just want to do a little t check, a tech check-in. And if you can just Skype me back over at our um, Skype group, that would be great. Let me know if things sound okay, and we'll keep moving forward. Okay, great. Excellent. Okay, very good. Okay, so with this unified field, and I'm going to um, also include here, the activation energy that I bring forth is very unique in that and I can, I can say this because of the hundreds of private sessions that I've done and then the groups that I'm working with and then the evidence that we're, um, that we're seeing and the, and the amazing, miraculous kind of things that are showing up in the field. What occurred back, especially after 9-11 uh, and even um, starting, t starting before that, but what occurred with the event of 9-11 was a disassembling of the unification very, it was not only was, um, the, you know, whatever the political um, aspects of that uh, situation was, it was also a ritual, it was a ceremony that was very powerful to disengage the divine feminine and the divine masculine as well as to turn things upside down when it comes to money and there were many things that were intended with that ceremony and ritual of bringing those powers down and it has affected our reality so you may have heard me say in the shows or any of the um, or the call that I did with Sean Awaken 3D that the two major events, and there's been many, but they're the two major events that have changed our trajectory and our reality uh, in the last 50 or so years is JFK's assassination and this event called 9-11. And so what has occurred, and especially what occurred, again, in our, what many of us right now in this moment can, will be able to identify with, is that it created basically a black hole or a, it dismantled the field of light that is necessary for many to create from. And what happened, and this is what I've been shown in many messages and tuning in and getting insight about this over the last six years or so, what has happened is that it left many of your realities, your re each of you individually, your our hundreds of thousands or millions of realities that were plugging into a unified field that were based in light, they became dismantled and unplugged. And so what we are able to now do with this unified and activated unified field of this new earth reality, as it is based in I am love, I am light, I am gratitude, it is bringing back online and has that brought back online what I'm going to in, start referring to as the usurping 
of the Christ consciousness and of the God frequency. And what, how you would probably be able to relate to that how in your own life is if you look back in the last 13 to 14 years, how much of your life has actually gone to a downward spiral and becoming less and less and less of a life of thriving and more and more of a life of struggle where things are upside down. And those of us that have been on this journey for quite some time have, re- have memory, have awareness back in the 90s I'm speaking from my own experience and from the people that I've spoken to that we remember what it's like to recreate. We know when we utilize and we work with the laws of the universe and manifesting that things were much easier. So what happened? 9-11 happened. Some very unusual things occurred. And uh, since then, it has um, there's been many things. It's not just 9-11. That was the big one. Um, there was something else that occurred in 2005, and it was around the event in the United States also, known as Katrina. And um, I'm not going to get into any of those details. I'm laying the foundation for you to understand and to bridge right now so that you have the awareness that what we're doing is far beyond meditation. This is a unified field that has been being activated um, by me and then Scott came on board and then the others came on board and the seven and the others that are holding the field here right now. What we are doing is we are, right now for the next three days, we are holding this field, anchoring and activating this GCR into reality so that each and every one of us that chooses to have a, 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 an experience of that value of the currency coming into manifestation, into our physicality in this dimension, in this reality, that we are bridging that. Because in addition to everything I've just said, there's also been timeline manipulation. And so the timeline manipulation has also been affecting our experience of our day-to-day reality and having a lot of experiences, if this relates to you, of Groundhog Day. So if you've been feeling like over and over and you can see, oops, I'm getting, I'm being told no sound. Can you hear me? Good, I need the feedback. Can, can, did, I just got a Skype message. Okay, another message. Okay, good, so I've got, all right, so Groundhog Day. If you have been having an experience where, and I want, and this has been a very interesting five years for me, of being told about timeline manipulation starting back in January 2011, right after we had experiences, and if, if anybody was in this um, investment back in December 2010. I'm going to remind you guys, or you tell, you see if this, and I, I would love your feedback too, um, either post it on Gladiators or um, send me an email. Do you remember back in December of 2010 when we were going into to the January 2011, there were text messages and intel coming out around Um, right at the end of the year into the beginning about Baghdad, the people of that that are dancing in the streets of Baghdad. Now, we would go, and then a week later, it was, okay, um, okay, so wait, I just got another message. Um, Oh, okay, I think it was just one person who is dialing in back in from France who is part of our seven. Okay. When that was occurring, it would be all spread across the world, um, in the intel world, I should say, and then all of a sudden, nothing happened. This is when I started getting very detailed information from my guides um, regarding timeline manipulation. So there has been, we can't pinpoint that there's been one thing. Because then we also have, have a, 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 what has been needed to occur is this entirely new system being developed 
which is part of quote unquote plan B, the whole banking system, um, the rigging being revealed, all the deception that's been revealed. So all of that um, also has been now at play as well. So um, perhaps back then w with the money not having occurred, it um, had it was in our highest good because quite honestly, I don't think any of us would want to be existing in a situation where um, the quote unquote gangsters had access to hack and to steal and do what they have done, right? So there's been a, it's been a combination of things. Now, what we are doing here today, and I'm about to um, come, and I want to like to clear the field and bring everybody into um, and guide you through uh, this an activation. Now, one of the things that I also want to share with you is that if you were on the call with Sean and I, there was a pretty powerful, which for me it was quite gentle, but the feedback I got was it was quite powerful. So I can only say what's coming through me, but you guys give me your feedback. It was a heart chakra activation. What I was being guided to do was activate people's hearts because the um, intentions and clarity for this Alignment is definitely the gate through the gateway of our hearts, our hearts and our hearts of gold. So, in order to be responsible for what is coming through, it's important for me to explain to you that these activation energies are incredibly potent. They, nine and a half times out of ten, the recipient feels tingling energy is moving, and there are effects for days, if not weeks, afterwards. Because what these energies are doing are, uh, there's several different things. And what's really cool about the energies is that as, long, as, I, as I state, and I always state, whatever is in the highest good for the recipient, the energies that's kind of, that, are, that are coming through will be received by you and you align with me with that intention, I'm asking, I'm actually asking, so the, the, the not just telling you, but I'm asking you, will you please align with me in that intention as these energies come through so that you're proactively engaging with the intention that whatever is brought through is the highest divine good for you. And then we we brought it and out also to whatever is in the highest divine good for humanity and for Mother Earth. And so these energies, it's very, very important that you understand that these energies are going to create changes in your life. And it could look like thought process. It could be transmuting um, energies of um, wounds and triggers. Um, it could also be having physical symptoms like um, Jennifer shared uh, on the second show where I was bringing that Kennedy energy through and the process and the information that was being brought through created vomiting and diarrhea and a couple of hours of very unpleasant experience. But it cleared, but what it adds to what this does is it's clearing out muck. And so it's important for you to take responsibility after having experiences of activation and activating to understand that there's going to be some changes and that not everything is going to be able to be lumped into if you're having physical symptoms or if you're having emotional stuff, if you're crying or if you have dream experiences, that not everything is is to be logically lumped into or shoehorned into what you normally would say those experiences are. I hope I'm explaining that correctly. But I'm actually just getting the guidance. There almost needs to be like a class to understand how vast the um, changes and the Okay, that's what I'm being told right now is the educational process is underway right now. 
So this is part of your education of understanding with these activations is that the energy is working to churn up the muck, um, to agitate it, to bring it to the surface because you cannot co-create in this new earth unified field when you're anchored in muck. It is a paradox. It's a, it's a, it polarizes. And so if you truly are choosing to engage with this wealth and the re reset and that you're truly in, in engaging with your own evolution and hopefully the evolution of humanity, then there's work that you get to do. And so as you experience these, I'm going to ask, we will we'll, we'll create some way. And tomorrow's call, I'm not going to do a Q&A today, but tomorrow's call will have Q&A in it so that you guys can engage. We can, um, ask, you guys will be able to ask some questions. Uh, in fact, I will also ask you to email in to the contact us at shiftishappeningtv.com email address to email some uh, questions in. So with that said, um, and then we'll also take the live callers as well. It's going to be a first. Well, you'll have to, you'll, you know, obviously just bear with us as we um, figure it out. But the, um, the intention here is that we are now here in the United States. I'm here in the United States. We are anchoring this energy and shifting the field and vibration so that all the stuff that you, and I'll be honest with you, I haven't even had time to um, check in with the intel, et cetera. I've seen a couple, two things that were emailed right to me. But um, I know energetically, based on what my guides shared with me and how important it was for me to actually get here today as opposed to next week, which is when I was, when I got the guidance to come quickly, that's when I was going to come, but I got the guidance talking to Patty, some of you know as Nana, um, and tuned in while we were in a conversation and the guidance was, yeah, go sooner if you can. And it was because of this series, this weekend, we have Halloween here. That's a whole other thing, right? So we have another um, holiday where there is notoriously, um, there's, it's notorious for ceremonies and rituals that are not of the light, that are not of for the highest good for humanity. So our intention is to hold so strongly the light and the vibration of love that nothing um, will come, actually will neutralize where we're at. We're in this very, very incredibly important window. And that we, as the anchors and the conduits of this vibration of love and light, will supersede every aspect and anything that is not in alignment with the highest divine good of all of this being revealed. So um, at this time, and then, uh, yes, so at this time what I'd like to do is move more into the energetic. And if you have questions right now, what I would like you to do is just get a notepad or put them on your computer, write your questions down, because the energy that we're going to move into at this point is going to be um, more, much more of the energetics rather than talking. So if you've got questions, if you have things you want to share, if you've already had experiences from the prior conference calls, I can say shows and the conference call that I did with Sean, then I'd like, to, um, I'd like you to journal them. Because what you're going to learn from, what, if you've already engaged with the first two shows um, and more of the, the people that will begin sharing here as well, what you're going to learn or see and have access to is that it's not a one-time deal. There is, an, um, there is a tremendously powerful alchemy that gets ignited and activated. And when this occurs, it is a roller coaster. So that's another part of the education here to understand. 
there's an, a, a roller coaster of emotions and up leveling and upheaval and physical stuff. And I'm just going to say again, nine and a half times out of ten of everyone that has experienced these activations and, and activation energy and the alchemical transformation it is very visceral. So it's really important for you to engage with this as we activate this new earth reality in a very proactive way. And amazing things are showing up. And that's another reason that I'm here in the U.S. Because my own reality that got severed um, right around 9-11 of um, producing projects of light in the entertainment industry, that's actually getting replugged in right now. That's another reason why I got the guidance to come here um, right now this weekend and to be here for some development meetings with someone that some of you actually are aware have been introduced to as well. So that reality for me is getting plugged back in. And, I'm, and there's others too, which we'll talk about at another time. At this point, I want you to understand how amazingly powerful this is and what the opportunity is for humanity to now ignite this light for this new earth reality. And we are doing this together. It means we we need to do this together. It is not this is a um, this is not just an individual thing. Each, we as individuals, each of us needs to do our own work. But that's the microcosm, and I should say, and that's the microcosm and the macrocosm of this is the ignition of a new paradigm. And we cannot move from where we have been in the muck and the deception and the reality of the, the duality reality and all of that. We cannot move from that in the consciousness and the beingness and the coping mechanisms and think we're going to have a brand new world just because money is being revealed. So there's a, um, think of the accordion, the, mu the music instrument of the accordion. There is an ebb and a flow. There's also in sacred geometry and in um, energetics, this is the vector equilibrium of the um, inner earth and the outer surface. That's another aspect of this that we're going to be getting into is understanding that this God wave of energy is a heart, the heart of Mother Earth is now back online and it's going to be revealed in the outer surface. There is going to be an inner and outer, a vector equilibrium, and a, a movement of sacred geometry and energy patterns that are also vibrating with the heartbeat of this planet. And the mother aspect, the divine feminine coming back online. And then also the, from the dismantling of the divine feminine and the balance of the masculine that will also be being brought in, back into alignment as well. And new answers in each of your lives that are going to be revealed in ways that will support you through your own knowingness. And it's important that you also create the time for inner stillness tuning into your well-being, aligning with what is in your highest good and being able to define what is in your trajectory, what's next, what's next, and keep moving forward. This stagnation, this Groundhog Day, we are proclaiming also right now that that is an experience of the past and that you are now anchoring in this unified field should you choose to continue proactively engaging and that this wealth is a representation of the heart of gold as well as the expansion of gold, and it's no accident that it's gold-backed currency, the expansion of the golden age. And all of this is completely, um, there are no, there, oh, look, I'm just going to say the old program, um, of there are no coincidences. There are coincidences. This is the coincidence. This is the co-created incidences to have an awareness of the vibration of gold and how this all plays out in the big picture, in the cosmos. 
and the gold too that has to do with the inner earth, the inner earth and the gold that is ready to now be revealed. It's not going to come just from the revaluation of currencies. The floodgates will begin to open. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the energetics of this. And um, with the seven people that are holding um, the vigil right now, I would just like to acknowledge you guys and that Sue has Sue, who some of you know her as Country Gal, has a pretty amazing story to share. I'm going to ask her if she's going to be online with us tomorrow for her to share uh, in regards to, and it'll be quite timely too, because here in the U.S. it'll be um, it'll be Halloween. Okay, so that was a lot of information. So what I'm going to ask you to do is if you've been taking notes, I'd like you to just put your note-taking instruments aside to get comfortable, to close your eyes, taking a couple of deep breaths. And as you do, align with that source energy through the life force of your breath. And align with that vibration of creation and that might not mean anything to you right now and that's okay if there's an intention with your higher self and then also with that said align with your higher self create a I'm just I st- I pause to, to actually hear what I'm being told right now is that there's cosmic and that's not a use that's not a term I usually get or use there's cosmic energy being poured into this field there's multi-dimensional frequencies and what I'm being shown is sacred geometry patterns also gems and codes And what I'm being told to say, uh, what is being said, is that it's important for you to know how much you are contributing to this field, that you are a conduit for this reality creating, and that it is not at the hands of the bankers, it's not at the hands of the lawmakers, there's no one out there who is there's people that are doing things in the 3D, but you're seeing how much it's being stalled. It's being stalled for a reason, because there needs to be a strong enough field of resonance, of love vibration, and that heart of gold vibration to counterbalance those that do not want this to occur and to supersede that vibration that we become the dominant, resonant, unified field. Dominant, resonant, unified field. And so as you breathe that in, and you breathe that into your heart, you allow yourself to feel the vibration of your self-love, loving thyself, Honoring thyself. Feeling the gratitude for thyself. And as you're aligning with those thoughts and intentions and vibrations, you also allow anything that is not aligned with that, any experiences from your past, any thoughts, any, any, any secrets in your closet, anything that is not in alignment with loving thyself, any judgment. Not in alignment with 
honoring thyself, having gratitude towards thyself, just gently allowing all of that to come to the surface to melt away. Now, as we surround ourselves and this field with a sphere of light, and the sphere is important, that we are also aligning and igniting it with the great central sun. We are connecting in with our soul thought process, consciously connecting in with our soul matrix, calling forth our higher self. Take another couple of deep breaths. Allow things to melt and integrate. There's a lot. There's energy already starting to move forward, move in. I shouldn't say move forward, starting to come through. And as you hold this vibration of intention in your heart, that you're also aligning with your inner knowingness, your inner stillness, and your activated I am presence. Now we're going to clear the field. This is just going to do, be a mini clearing. It's important, it's really important for each of you to take responsibility for clearing your field and activating your I am presence so that you become untouchable. You're attractive because you're being, you are a being of light. Stabilize your thoughts. This is what's being said right now, is stabilize your thoughts to feel your own frequency of self-love. And many of us will say, oh, of course, I love myself, but do you truly actually have that visceral vibration within yourself of loving yourself? If that's not even a regular part of your thought process of loving thyself, then I believe that's actually why it was why that's being communicated, is to stabilize your thought. The vibration of creation cannot anchor in with anything other than loving thyself. So that's another reason why all this must and upheaval must occur. What goes in must come out. What what goes up must come down kind of thing. So all of the experiences that have created separation within your own heart, your own self, from your own source, all of any of the experiences of lack, lack of self-worth, projections from other people, judgments from other people, judgments from yourself, we don't have time for 20 years of therapy, so we're going to start transmuting these energies now. And that's what we're doing, is we are calling forth for these to be transmuted, and that's part of the activation energy as well. And I transmuted the origin. All right. Now, as we clear this field, we are from our activated and an empowered I am presence. As we come through the vibration also of Mother, Father, God, Goddess, Creator, Creatress, Source of all that is aligning with the balance and the true essence of our soul matrix. We're commanding that anything that is not in alignment with that, I am that I am. Anything that is not in alignment with loving thyself, honoring thyself, feeling gratitude towards thyself. Anything that is of an outside nature of obstruction or interference. Anything that is creating any type of 
dissidence of self-worth and separation and any entities that are in the field whether they are have been here for around you for a while or not you are to command that they well the command is from our activated and empowered I am presence that they are to be neutralized nullified ceasing to exist in all time space continuum clearing the field of the nuances that do not serve you and serve you to be aligned in or in alignment with God's self and the nature of loving thyself is based in God's self vibration. We are closing all in any potential loopholes. This is to be aligned with prime creator and universal laws. And as we go forth, the intention is to create aligned with the highest divine good for you as an individual. So you will want to repeat that back to yourself and for all of humanity. Now what's being asked is for me to suggest that you come into alignment, into a homeostasis, a balance of the divine feminine, divine masculine. So the intention that you're now setting is that I choose, and I'm going to say this so that you understand that it's not being, it's not superseding your free will. I choose to be aligned within me with my divine feminine and my divine masculine. And also the homeostasis of divine light, divine love, and to be able to work with the universal laws such as divine law of attraction. I am that I am. I am the wealth of the world. I am the gold, heart of gold, intended vibration. I am that clear all the way through. Being told that many of you have a field of life that is missing self-love. Self-worth and self-love are are imperative source vibration in order for this creation of this new earth reality. So hold that frequency very, very, as very important and um, very potently. So as you move into your day, move into your evening, that you are making choices that will continuously bring you into alignment with this vibration of loving thyself. So what I'm being shown right now is put post-it notes up around your house or and or do some very nurturing things for yourself, um, even the guys. If you haven't taken um, a hot bath and nurtured yourself in a very loving way, that is a great way to even um, get into alignment with your divine feminine. And um, light some candles, put on some music, and align with the sacredness of loving thyself. You incarnated here at this time on this planet, and you undoubtedly are listening to this call for a reason. And so even for the gals that you do and engage in the doingness that will also bring forth the beingness of loving thyself. So you move from either not thinking about it at all to thinking about it, 
but it's only a logical vibration to the beingness of it. So do you see the difference? Do you feel the difference of that? And hold that as your truth, as your heart of gold truth, as your heart's desires are fulfilled. Over these next three days, we're going to move a lot of energy. We're going to activate a lot of light. And we're going to beautifully usher in this golden age together. And so as we move into this activation, begin engaging with yourself as that beautiful, loving being, unified within yourself of the balance of the divine feminine and the divine masculine and feeling the vibration of joy and love and that feeling of love of self and the sacredness that becomes activated as you know that you are here to usher in this golden age and the birthing of a new cosmos upon this planet as well as the universe. So as you begin to engage with yourself as that being, that you also drop away the daily life that you have had and the life experiences that you have had for however long back you want to go, that whatever has not served you, and that you move into this global being, this global activated being of light that is here to usher in, be a conduit of love, light, and gratitude for the golden age. And as you also feel your body, feel the sensation, as the energies of the transmuting of the old is occurring, and you might be feeling emotional, allow yourself to also engage with the courage that you have had, the fortitude that you have had, all of the different aspects of being engaged to even be right here on this call, all of the challenges, all of the projections from the people that may not have understood the things you have talked about or it wasn't their time to awaken. So allowing all of those judgments and projections and mis miscalculated timings of conversation to fall to the wayside because what you're doing now is you are shedding all of that as you are stepping more into that global God being of light. Right there, ignite that vibration within yourself. Okay, that... Transmuting the energies of the at the origin. Of whatever is not serving you in your highest divine good and highest divine truth. And each of the seven that are holding this field, acknowledging each of you and also acting, activating each of you for the seven of the representation of the seven chakras, the seven hues of the rainbow. The pouring of the alchemy of the new earth reality. Oh, the vibration of law of love. Law of one, law of light. We are activating, reactivating universal law in this unified field and calling forth for consequence for those that are not in alignment, that are still living in the double standard of the duality reality. And so in this unified field, we are activating for universal law, prime creator, all to come back online for each and every one that chooses to proactively engage. And if you agree with that right now, out loud, wherever you are, say, and so it is, and so I am. 
I am that I am. Being told the vibration of creation is being reactivated in this field. And it's important for you to engage now with the vibration of creation in your thoughts and in your beingness. Hold this reality of the global currency reset. All banks, every every institution that must recognize this as a reality that we are also seeing all the cobwebs, any of the blockages, any of the obstructions being cleared away gracefully and easily, but powerfully and powerfully. Bank personnel joyfully feeling like they get to go to work and be Santa Claus type being every day. Whatever brings them joy that they are there as bridges and conduits. They play their role as well. They are playing the part that of being the conduits for distribution. And that all of the resources for all funding of all humanitarian projects are brought into alignment and that the people that are to be the recipients of these are also aware of the importance of clearing their field and to align with this with with humanity as this new earth reality is being created on this timeline. That this is a revaluation of self as well as well as revaluation of currencies. Bridging technologies are being implemented into this field right now. So as you have just chosen as you have said, and so it is, and so I am, what the beings of light that are working with us right now in the company of heaven are doing are creating bridging codes from you into this unified field, field of gold, vibration of wealth, wealth of self, I am love. I am that I am. If that if if it if it's comfortable for you, repeat that to yourself as well. I am light. I am that I am. I believe that this is being activated as codes in your heart chakra. I am gratitude. The violet flame of Saint Germain. Being activated in this field. Holding and anchoring this timeline that there, so that there is no disturbances in the field. Grounding your energy from your root chakra, well, all the way from your heart down through your third. Second chakra, root chakra. Now ground that energy powerfully shoo, through down through Mother Earth to the great central sun and the crystalline grid. The crystalline grid holds the vibration of creation. And this is a, I'm being told to say that this is a multidimensional experience that is occurring. So if you're having, and especially, as you go to sleep tonight, if you have awarenesses, dream experiences, even of old stuff that has been transmuted that's coming up to be revealed to you, please journal it. Please email me. Please engage. And if you've got 
uh, energies, intrusive energies coming through, please clear your field. Ah. All right. Allow it to keep feeling that energy anchoring with Mother Earth, with the crystalline grid, with the great central sun. There's more work that's going to continue. We are unifying this field for the revaluation to be revealed for each and every one of us that chooses. And as we engage these next three days, We're to finalize this as it comes into fruition. And so it is. So again, I want to acknowledge you for being here. I want to thank you and for being in your journey and for being a participant as a being of light as you are. And to the seven that are here anchoring this field and that here we have now very much assembled and activated this unified field here in the U.S. And we're going to do even, we're going to engage even more with that tomorrow in tomorrow's call. Just knowing and holding that this field is here in the U.S. And it is in being impregnated. It's impregnating. No, sorry. The words are, it is impregnating light, love, and gratitude throughout the entire, the, all of the land. Throughout the land. That's interesting. The word, the song that's coming to my mind is the, this land is your land. We will anchor, we are anchoring this unified field here of abundance across this country and across the world, across the planet. Until tomorrow, please email me. We will do Q&A tomorrow. And please remind yourself, put your post-it notes up or do whatever you choose to do to engage, engage, engage. It is with so much love that I am here, our team is here, and I know you guys are here. We are in this together. Namaste. And those are exact words that were used actually um, in, in one of the, uh, back in two, December of 2013. And that has made it very challenging because the vibration of creation has had a very difficult time for it, for it to anchor and also for us to um, 
activate a reality, our individual reality as well as a collective reality that is expansive and thriving and vibrant, joyful, loving. And so with this unified field, what we are doing is powerfully activating and anchoring the unified field of this new earth reality. And the cool thing, many cool things are occurring. Amazing, and cool. I, I, sh I shouldn't even say just cool. Uh, um, profound and amazing things are occurring. I'm a stickler for evidence and confirmations, and I'm going to ask each and every one of you to also start looking for the signs and the confirmations and the evidence in your life as you engage with this unified field of the things that are occurring that you are wanting and desiring and aligned with your heart's desires as we move forward. Now, the seven people that are here are going to change over the next three days of these calls. And um, they're, so we're going to be um, staggering who's, who's here. I'm going to reference, I'm going to actually ask some All right, I am Deb, Deb Keach, Deb Keach, and this is a series of offshoot of the Wake Up, Shift is Happening TV series. This is a series of conference calls, and there's a reason that we're doing these as conference calls um, as opposed to the TV show, and one of the reasons is uh, because I got the guidance a couple of well, I'm going to say five days ago at this point. It was about, yeah, it was five days ago to, um, to, come, to, to come back to the U.S. and to do these calls and do the anchoring of this field here on the soil of the United States. So <clears throat> with very little notice and with a guest staying at our house for the week to help with um, the website and the show and everything, um, I... I picked up, packed, and I arrived in Los Angeles this morning. <laughs> so I'm back home. I'm back home in L.A., and it was very unexpected. And I um, just want to acknowledge that um, the support that I've had in order for me to be able to do that, um, not only financially, but also even just timing. And um, when, you, when you shift trajectories that quickly, because it also came at a time where um, Scott's um, dad had a very serious, um, very serious series of surgeries that were needed immediately last something, anti the energy of Christ consciousness. And so um, the intention here with this unified field is that we have very extraordinarily activated this field very, very powerfully. And that these uh, seven people that I am referencing, that the okay, um, that the seven people that I'm referencing are here as part of the behind the scenes group inner circle that myself and Scott have been working with very diligently, activating and working with almost on a, I'm not going to say completely on a daily basis, but almost in a very, very regular basis, weekly um, calls and, you know, different things, a lot of, a lot of active, activating, a lot of up-leveling, and a lot of intention holding for this unified field of this new earth reality. And this global currency reset is absolutely imperative for this new earth reality to engage because of so many of the different aspects of the living life as a um, existing rather than thriving and the enslavement matrix and all of the things that have <clears throat> accumulated an energy where we have a very, very challenging time, as my guides referred to a couple years ago, basically trying to, what, what the muck we're in, it's like basically trying to create our way out of a wet paper bag. It has so much to do with the revaluation of ourselves. 
and aligning with the vibration within ourselves as that heart of gold and recognizing ourselves as the manifestation of that gold vibration and the essence of that gold vibration that is the, the, our self-worth wealth and that we are vibrating that vibration from the purity of our heart. Um, and it has nothing to do with the bank account amount or the portfolio amount or any of the assets that we have accumulated or haven't accumulated. And so that is a big part of this series of calls. That's on the micro. That's on the micro of each of you that the importance of activating and resonating with that vibration of wealth within yourself from the purity of your heart and also the macrocosm of this unified field. And I'm going to be talking more about this unified field. And that is another reason why I got the guidance to come here, to be here in the United States where there has been such a thumb, um, actually what was communicated a couple months ago was the U.S. is under the thumb of the Antichrist. Now, I want to just make a note of that. There's a lot of con different connotations that people um, project into hearing the words Antichrist. And I want to make sure that as I say that, that the connotations, I'm going to be very clear here. What we're talking about is anti week and so there's it's kind of been a whirlwind but the um, communication came in and um, for anyone that knows me well uh, and I'm sharing this now <laughs> with everyone here is that I follow through with the guidance that I get I definitely have been been living my life in a different way than what most people do for probably the last five or six years and I do, I do believe that this is a way that many of us are meant to be living and existing where we are able to tune in, get very detailed information, and to follow through with that guidance in a way that takes us out of personality. I refer to it as um, just personality and logic-based decision-making. So I'm really honored to, to have the people that are here that um, did make their way here, even with the um, error of the PIN code. And honored to have this team of people that I'm going to be introducing to you guys and the reason that they are here. I keep referring to, to them as the seven. And so what I'd like to do at this time is just have everybody, again, just close your eyes and take a couple of deep breaths and breathe in the celebration of what is occurring on the planet right now. And the celebration of where we are in this process and this journey of this global currency reset, of the revaluation of currencies, which is so much more than just about the currencies. And if you saw the newsletter that I um, sent out or any of the information that I sent out, this has